Hello, Leo, and welcome to your April 2018 reading. I'm going to go ahead and get started and look at your headspace here for April of 2018. So in your headspace, you have the Father of Cups. So I see you guys um, having, feeling like you are in a good place emotionally, even though ironically this is in your headspace. <laughs> I see you guys being um, led by your intuition very strongly here and learning to manage your emotions. Having emotional con control, so learning emotional control. I feel like you learned emotional control, so you now have it. In your heart space, you've got the moon, which is also about your intuition. So I see you really being led by your intuition here in your head space and in your heart space. And I see in the recent past, you feel like you were victorious. I feel like you, um, you've undergone some sort of transformation within yourself and you feel victorious. You feel like you've come out of this dark place and now are in the light. Let's look at your near future. Wow, you've got the Father of Pentacles, which is a very good card. The Father of Pentacles. So I see you guys um, having control of your finances. For some of you, landing a long-term contract. For others of you, I feel I see you investing in a business, whether it's yourself, your own business, or someone else's. Um, and for some of you, I see the sale of land, either the selling or the purchasing of property or land. Um, either way, I see security, abundance, um, and discipline and power here. I see that you've learned a lot and you feel really disciplined and um, that is true power. Let's um, look at your advice card here. Oops. The Four of Wands. That's really interesting for advice. <laughs> so basically your advice here, the Four of Wands is a green light, okay? So it's the green light, the go ahead, the yes, you're on the right track. Whatever you're doing here, you're on the right track. Keep going because you're going towards success. You're going towards, some of you, I feel your advice is to get married. <laughs> uh, but the main advice I'm picking up here is um, either moving house, getting married. But the main advice here is progression, balance, harmony, um, continue, continue on your path because it's the right way. You're going the right way. It's a green light. So I want to clarify your headspace. You've got the Daughter of Swords. So here in your headspace, it's funny because I feel like there's some sort of, for some of you, there's some sort of delay in business or personal projects. Um, in your headspace here in the beginning of April. But I see here in the near future, you're going to be shifting into expansion of business um, or personal projects so that's really interesting so you're going to be shifting from delays delayed energy into active energy and an expansion here i do also see you settling inner conflict i feel like you're going to be a lot more stable mentally and emotionally here in, in the beginning of april i feel like you're going to be um more energetic um and just quick-witted here but mainly i just feel like you being insightful and settling inner conflict that's what i'm really feeling and i feel like it's mental and emotional you're settling some mental and emotional inner conflict here in the beginning of april i want to clarify your recent past your recent past you have the six of cups this is a very this can be a very nostalgic energy the cars so some of you had a lot of nostalgia here in the past but i feel like in your recent past for some of you you had a lot of family supports that um helped you to rise above certain situations and it may not be like like blood family but you know soul family and maybe blood family um but i see you guys coming out of some sort of like 
karma even some some of you family karma some of you just some sort of karmic pattern that you had within yourself um but i see you guys coming out of that this um whatever this was some sort of like obstacle or challenge for you it may have been emotional or mental challenges that you had you know or you know just stress even obstacles and it was with the help of family or or soul family let's clarify your recent energy I mean your current energy you've got the two of wands so I see you here um, making a, a choice going and putting all of your energy towards one specific direction and that direction is your highest path so you're using your intuition here and you're going you're following your gut and you're going towards your highest path so I see you guys in your heart space you're very like very set on a goal and i see you accomplishing that goal or, or at least you know making progress let's go ahead and clarify your near future card you got the son of wands you're you're so i see you guys being bold and courageous and um taking action in regards to expanding your business or um, some sort of project or a career or you know whatever it is i see you going for your goal whatever goal you have i see you taking the action and going forth boldly and courageously let's clarify your advice Ooh, yeah your advice is um don't be self-sabotaging if you guys not saying that you are but if you guys tend to get, get caught up in drama or gossip or some sort of like you know if people gossip and stuff don't get caught up in that i feel like with this it's like your advice is saying this is the green light make sure you don't self-sabotage yourself by getting caught up in like you know don't be melodramatic or don't be around people who are melodramatic either okay keep your mind focused here focus is necessary focus is key i'm really feeling like you need focus here that's your advice Okay, let's pull some more cards for you. Ask for help from others. You guys, whatever goal you have, I feel like you have a huge goal in mind here. <laughs> whatever goal it is you have, it's okay to ask for help from your friends, from others around you. Ask for help from others. Seek an expert. Some of you may need to seek an expert. Um, I'm really feeling like with this card, you're just going to be like seeking advice from your friends even, not necessarily an expert. But like you see her, she's like asking this uh, caterpillar here for advice. So I feel like, you know, seek advice is the main message I'm getting from that card. I'm going to pull one more. Turn back. I feel like some of you guys... Uh, you need to just turn back from gossip. You need to turn back from melodramatic ways. Not saying that it's from you. Some of you, yeah. But, you know, from some of you, it's turn back from um, dramatic people. Don't get caught up in the drama. Gratitude. Be grateful for abundance. Live in appreciation for what you have. And more good things will come. So I'm feeling like some of you guys already have good things in your life. And you, you know, you're looking at what you want, which is great. That's fine. It's always good to have goals. But make sure you appreciate what you have already first. And more good things will come. If you're worried about being on your spiritual track, don't be. Because the fact that you're thinking about it means that you're on the right path. So for me, when this card comes up, it's basically saying like, hey, it's a green light, another another green light here, guys. You guys are on the right path is the, the, car, the message from that card for me. Clarity. I feel like some of you guys have gained clarity i feel like you in this month like here in april you're gonna find that you have clarity you have a sense of direction you know what you want to do and you're gonna go for it i see you having the clarity on what you need to do and i see you taking the steps and doing it sunrise you guys are a sunrise leos you guys are nothing but sun <laughs> um and i see you guys standing in your power i see that you guys are going to be shining brighter than you have in a long time 
And um, I see that you're entering a, a brighter phase of your life here where you're going to feel a lot more um, happy. I just see you guys being happy, like, you know, walking around and singing and skipping and dancing along. I don't know. I just see you guys just feeling that joy in your heart like you haven't for in a while. Like you haven't in a while. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. And really quickly, I want to read that one out of the book because it's such a short little description. And it says, Make sure you aren't dwelling on things that have passed and no longer exist. Everyone has a past that has helped to shape who they are. This history cannot be erased. Accept the past and look forward to the future. Set goals, dream big, and create together. By doing this, you will eliminate the prospect of visiting the past. Having a goal helps us to focus on what is important. So I feel like a lot of you guys do have a goal here in April. But for those of you who are like, I don't know what goal you're talking about. Set a goal. There, you know, what sets your heart on fire? What are you passionate about? Okay. Um, and set goals to, to accomplish something in that area of your life. Okay. So I'm really feeling like goals are going to be your answer here for April either you know follow your dreams and, and head towards the direction of your goals or create goals here i really feel like this card wanted to jump out for you where did it go this one shaman's dream emergence this painting is so beautiful and if you'd like you can take a picture of the back I'm going to read the top portion and the bottom portion here. So just the middle section, you can take a picture of that. I mean, not a picture. You can pause the video and read it. Um, but I'm going to read the, the conclusion and the little intro part. Examine your cocoon. Push the barriers aside. Flex your wings and fly. If you have drawn this card, you are being called to emerge from the cocoon and become the butterfly. On the inner plane, expect the transformation of negativity into positivity in preparation for an outer shift. On the outer plane, expect change, adventure, travel, communication, and sexual attraction. Spread your wings and fly. Wow, that is so beautiful. I see you guys. I see this as you guys. I see you emerging from your cocoon. And you're so, you are the sunrise. Look at that. This image says it all. That is your April 2018 reading, Leo. I hope that made sense for you guys and resonated with you. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can book one at www.theenchantedone.com. Or you can follow the link down below in the description box. And, um... Just click on that and book a reading through there. You guys have a stellar day.